what's up, y'all? This your boy Charles Greg with the beautiful Lauren Sizzle, and you're listening to WPPMLP Philadelphia 106.5, and this is we talk weekly's after the talk, man. And now you already know, man. We on our second hour. Hour number two, man. Hour number two, yes. man. You yes. know I yes. love these interviews, in. man. So I had to bring somebody else in. Yes. So I gave you the little story on how I met this gentleman, right? Or his folks. I'm going to let him tell you about his folks, man. But his folks, man, he he, he better be on your promo team, dog. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, that's Big Worm, you know. I'm shout tra- out Big Worm. Yeah, shout out Big, Big Perm. Worm. Yeah. I mean Big Worm. Big Worm, right? I know, right? <laughs> and so we got a gentleman from Jersey, man. Mr. Bean in the building, man. Yeah. Listen, you came all the way from Jersey to see your boy in Philly, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do. You know what I'm saying? We're reaching out. And so, um, I want you to kind of let us know, first of all, who was the gentleman that reached out to us? Because I got to shout him out, man, because he, he was patient. He was, you know what, that taught, he taught me a lesson. You got to be on your, you got to, you got to be on your P's and Q's, man. You got to be persistent, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I, I exactly. actually, Close I, I mouth appreciate don't get fed. It. I know that's right, man. But he was riding with you. So, let's talk a little bit about him and go into, like, one the music, especially the track that we just heard. Welcome to the show, first of all. Hey, man, appreciate you for having me, man. My name is Mr. Bean, by the way. Everybody, uh, you can follow me, Bean 100, Snapchat, Instagram, and all that. Mm-hmm. I mean, think, um, shit, Big Worm. Yeah. Remember, that's my bro. Uh-huh. I mean, he, uh, he, he on a promo team, but really, he, he really, like, our friendship, we really tight like that. So, no he, he look out like he want me to be great. As much as I want to be great, fam. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, you go off. That's fun. And you know what? <clears throat> you was here, and I, I know you was listening to the conversation we had about Philly and supporting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How you feel about that? You know, people, especially friends, supporting each other. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, and like making sure important. that we, we support that. How that's you feel important. about that? I feel like that's important, man. I feel like you should reach out. Everybody should reach out and try to help each other out, man. Can't you get it done with more people. I mean, we as a movement, man. We str- we could be strong together. Yeah. Like right now, I got like this right here. This is young, Amer- young, young America. This okay. my uh, one of the people around my way. They clothing line. Love and, it. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. support. I'm bringing this out there. Support this right here. This hat. There you go. This, um, this guy. What's his name? Jay Oliver. He uh he produced one of the Meek tracks too. It's oh, that's I went up. to Texas and got this. I'm supporting him with this. Never satisfied. So I'm out here put, trying to push myself and them as See, well. That's, that's, right. that's, that's, that's right. Black Wall Street. Yeah. That's yeah. that's what Black Wall Street is. Exactly. You, know what you saying? support others, then people go. support you. I know that's right. I know that's right. Mm-hmm. Now let's talk about the track that we just heard, man. Because, I mean, I seen that vid- the video was crazy. You know what I mean? The track yeah. is crazy. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, that track right there was called Bad Brick. I ain't worried about a bad break. You know, I'm used to them. So we gonna just, I'm going I'm to I'm just try I mean, my hardest to just keep thriving and pushing through all the bad breaks. Like, I ain't worried about it. We're going to keep going right, regardless right. of anything. You feel me? So I really try to stress that. Like, and other things that come with that as far as bad breaks. Like, I mean, I'm yeah. used to a lot of this. So, and probably thousands of brothers are too. Like, they, mm-hmm. they, they put the pressure on us, like you say, with the probation, free yeah, meek yep. and all that. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, they say, like, he was willing to bike. You feel mm-hmm. me? That's in it. New York. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like you'll get this man four years, you know what he, how many Crazy. people he feeding? Yep. yep. Wow. And his family yeah. and his mm-hmm. friends and they're keeping the people he keeping off the street. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know, man. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the funny thing is, you know, he, he brought up an interesting point because you're talking about how many people he feeding. Right. You know how exactly. many people uh uh pockets he feeding by being in jail. Right. The other people. Right, yeah, exactly. You yes. want to talk about that, Brent? <laughs> and speaking of feeding, you know Meek still like because he does an annual Thanksgiving yeah, um, yeah. turkey drive, How and many he people still had you know had his peoples out there giving back yeah, to the community. Real mm. Yeah, yeah that's real talk. And so let's talk a little bit about um, your influences. You know what I'm saying? Who who inspired you, or or you know, because because I, I give everybody their own individuality, so I want I don't I won't say that you know you sound like this person or you sound like that person or you like this person, but who influenced you to you spit bars? Because I know it's something you listen to and be like, yo, I'm going to the crib. I need to write. Like who who gives you that feeling? You know what I'm saying? Jay Z, Hov, hey. all day. That's our boy. Yes. <laughs> Hovey's yes. home, the global yes. phone, no yeah. doubt. Yeah, your, yeah. Boy, your boy Meek. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. Meek. Yes. Look, he, yes. In the family. Yes. he in the he in the family now. Mm-hmm. He's spitting all he, all our yeah. people. Gangsters don't die yes. to get chubby and yes. move to Miami. Yes. <laughs> you gotta listen to top five. Yeah, exactly. Kiss in the building. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No doubt. Yeah, yeah. 
Where do you see yourself um, in the next couple years? You know what I'm saying in terms of your music. Next couple of years, man. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be a household name. The next couple of years, yeah. I done, I done traveled and did a lot of things. Like I got a project with Gilly. I just got done doing. Oh, good I, GDK, no yeah, thought. Yeah, I, I performed in um Magic City. Mm-hmm. I performed. I went good. to South by Southwest. Okay. I uh, opened up for Black Youngster in Texas. I I've been wow. trying to move like yeah. PNB. I did a show for, with um PNB Rock. Okay, you know I mean? so I've been building. yeah, so I've been trying to move, yeah, move yeah. around. I'm, Probably like two years, I see myself up there, Sean. I'm gonna I'm I'm push for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, I like yeah. that. I like that. Now, <clears throat> now you mentioned a couple people, right? You know, mm-hmm. how, how what's your take on the new wave of music? Because you don't have that sound. You know what right. I'm saying? Now, right. you know they they giving it names like mumble rap. They giving it <laughs> other different. How you feel about? You know what I'm saying? To each his own, man. Yeah, Respect no the hustle, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's positive, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, he mm-hmm. ain't out here shooting nobody. Out here making right. their own music, doing what they do in their own lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't your lane, hey man. It's a million people out here, billion people, billions of people mm-hmm. out here. Yeah, yeah. You don't need everybody's support. You go do what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I ain't, I ain't no time for hating. You yeah, know what I mean? know so that's right. Let them do them. Support. Yes. Let me ask you a question. So when you do get to that top level in uh-huh. two years, because I see you there, because I can hear the greatness, mm-hmm. um, what you going to do for the community? Knowing that people, when they, you know, Philly, Camden, they make it big and they don't come back sometimes. What's your take I'm, on that? I'm, def- I'm definitely looking forward to coming back and helping out. Like, mm-hmm. my my city's small and it's kind of, you know, got a bad rep a little bit. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, our, like our high school, people don't know, like Camden High School, they shut that down and they got the, the kids like all through like this place through, yeah, just mm-hmm. miss, all through the wow. city so we need another high school ASAP like if I was on now that would have been uh, one, of my, one of the things I would like to get help get done mm-hmm. in my That's city great. like yeah. more clean parks you know for kids to play basketball more mm-hmm. like I don't know you know stuff like that yeah mm-hmm. that's what's up yeah how would you say what would what would you say your style is cause you got a little different flow you know what I'm saying? It's right. not like something you turn on and sound like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Right. So what would you classify your style as? Like, it's, it's, it's different. I, I say, like, I'm trying, I don't know, like, I'm trying to bring old rap back. Like, okay. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like awesome, awesome. So Waka Flocka went on and... Um, Pete Rock had to check him. Was it Pete Rock? I think it was Pete. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> kind of saying, um, you know, that uh, uh, that you know, he just kind of gave a jab at old school music, so mm-hmm. to speak, right? Mm-hmm. And Waka Flocka was like, you know, this dance. How do you feel about old school, new school? You know, what do you? How do you think we can bridge that gap? You know what I mean? Yeah, old school flow, man. man. Old school music compared to new school. I mean, it's definitely totally different. Some yeah. things I can't even like. I ain't even hold you. Like, I'm. I, I, I like listening to Future. I like Kodak. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like. Well, yeah, I like Kodak. But sometimes you can't hear nothing they say. Like, like yeah. it's like with the, with the old school music. I feel like it, you could. It, taps into so many different mm-hmm. like vibes, and you can really hear everything they saying. So it's like I can't really compare them. But I feel like when you want to go party, go ahead and throw some little Uzi on or something, yeah, yeah. Right. and you good. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I, don't, I think they definitely in their own two lanes. Huh? As far as bring, as far as making like merging them together, I don't. Ah, yeah. I don't know. What would be your perfect situation? Like some people now, I mean, they they saying, look, I'd rather be independent and just count on the streams. Other people want to get, you know, what I'm saying, like picked up by a major label. Mm-hmm. You know, what 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 would your perfect situation be? I feel like I feel like I I mm, depend on the, I wouldn't even I I said independent I like to go independent route because me and my my guy right here his name Anthony A G right you right know, he uh he he's actually like the um the co the what is it, founder of N A E right right you know right. that's our little our little rap group we start mm-hmm. kind of like a Biggie Puffy thing mm-hmm. right, you know, right he right. trying he trying to start that up and I'm I'm rolling with my thing so on the road when we on the road we talk to other people. And they'll tell us, like, the best way about going with this thing is independent. The way we go doing it right now, they said we're on the right road. So I'll take the independent mm-hmm. uh, you know, the route. Yeah. Okay. So let's backtrack a little bit. So mm-hmm. how old were you when you decided, like, you, you know, you just were bars. in the rap mm-hmm. and, like, <laughs> you know. I was uh, 21. 21. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. 21. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, what made you decide, like, okay, I'm – Cause you know people 
have dreams, but they don't always pursue them. So what made you decide, like, okay, I'm going to just, like, leave everything alone. I'm going to devote, like, a thousand percent of my attention and my effort into pursuing yeah. my dream. Uh, well, my I, w- I wasn't even a rapper, for real, for real. My, my friend, shout out, Sco- his name is Scooty. He was a rapper or whatever. And he told me one day to come to the studio with him. I went to the studio with him, and he like, uh, yo, bro, I don't got the person. Somebody was supposed to come rap with him. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, write. I'm, I'm playing around. Like, I'm, I'm going to write something real fast. Mm-hmm. And I went to go write something, and I jumped in the studio, and everybody everybody like, whoa, bro, you know how I rap? Like, I ain't know that. It's that the third. Wow. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I started rapping. Mm-hmm. And then I, after that, I started getting more feedback. I did a show. Everybody, mm. I start getting like mad positive feedback, more following and everything. So wow. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm just gonna try it one time. Oh, My guy, he 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 tapping in like athletics and everything, like mm-hmm. NFL players and all that. He came to me. That's my my friend from high school. We like That's brothers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Man, he uh he told me like, look, bro, I've, I've got faith in you, and I see that you're really mm-hmm. serious about this. We can go ahead and make something, and I wow. can touch them my athletes and whatever, and we can just travel and try to get it done, and we've been doing that ever since then. Jason. Touch, you on? Yo, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hey. 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 Madam Touch. We're just going to try to make yeah. this happen, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, man. Yeah. So, so tell us what's good. We got, you know, Mr. Bean in the building. I know you've been listening to him. Did you hear some of his music? Yeah, man. Yeah, yo. Loving, loving, loving the vibe, loving the energy. You know, I think a lot of times we hear about people discovering their talent. So it's pretty dope to hear how you, you know, took a chance, got in that booth, and pretty much killed it. So, so you know, we feeling that. But I had, I, you know, I like to talk hip hop when we have artists on the on the show. You know, and, mm-hmm. and just get they feel. I know y'all talked about new school, old school. Mm-hmm. I need to know, did you hear the Mace and Cam battle? I was following it. The Mace and Cam. Cam got grounded up. Yes, yes. Okay. I want to know how he feels. Who who, who you think won that battle? I'm, I'm, I'm a Cam fan, man. Yo, you can't, but you got to go with facts. Uh, I'm going to go, go. wild card. Yes. Yeah, you got to yes. go with facts on this For one. example, I'm a Nicki Minaj fan, right. heavy, right. but Remy, Remy right. ripped up a that. new one. That's she right. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm sorry I had to give it to Remy, but. Mace definitely, Mace definitely got over on it, though. I was yeah, going to say that. he got the upper hand. Yeah, he did. Yeah, that disc was fire. I'm sorry. It was like reliving the whole Remy and, and Nicki. Yeah. Like, I was just like, did he just say he was his sister? Yo. Yeah, I was like, oh. Yeah, Mace was right. touching. Wow. Okay, the pastor was like preaching. He was, yeah, okay. he was touching butt. So he, 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 gave, he gave Mace the edge touch. He gave him the edge. He, uh- Oh, so he, he think Cam, he think Cam won that battle? Well, that's he's staying loyal. That's his man. Cam, what, everybody he, always be staying loyal to their <laughs> man because when they had that drinking meat battle, you was loyal as hell to me, Charles. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I could appreciate the loyalty, but, you know, when it comes to hip hop, I think this is, uh, a part where we gotta recognize people say, oh, you know, it ain't hip hop right now, and and this is a sign that we still doing this hip hop thing. Mm-hmm. Battling is is a part of the culture, and mm-hmm. you know, the new school, the old school, we all meet on this same ground level. Mm-hmm. Where if it's a battle, it's hip hop nonetheless. So, you know, I, I I had to get his take on that Cam Mace mm-hmm. battle. He got Cam. I got mixed. I got mixed on this one, but I, I'm a loyal Mace fan. You feel me? So, but he, he killed that joint. He killed that joint. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know so about going out here at West Red Legs TVs all over the <laughs> the little, the little oh, shiny seats. <laughs> so, what do you think? Is this? You think it's like a, a, a you know, a, a stunt? They trying to come back, or or it's just really some beef that you know years built up. They I, had to get out the way. They've been messing with Mace for so long. Yeah. Like yeah. I feel like he just, they, I'm tired. I'm gonna give it to mm-hmm. him now. You yeah. Mean? Yeah. I, it's definitely needed. Yeah. Definitely needed from both of them because yeah. we've been missing both of them for mm-hmm. real. They both. Yeah, that's been. actually yeah. what Mace said. Mm-hmm. I mean, they did an interview with him uh, with um, I think Hot 97, and he was just mm-hmm. saying like uh, with Ebro, and he was like Ebro, come on, I was quiet. 
Cam been mm-hmm. taking all these pop shots. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, right. now, like, yo, let me speak. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to speak. You know right. what I'm saying? And so, he had right. a lot to say. So that was yeah. brewing, no doubt. Yeah. So, and before, then the... so before we let you go, though, right? Mm-hmm. You know, you got to give us a 16, right? Uh-huh. got to do that. You know what I'm saying? What you, what you got, Sizzle? What you got? No, I was just going to say, you know, the challenge with coming back out after so many years mm-hmm. of staying relevant and just like, you know, certain people, I, I don't think they could come back. But like Mace, like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, Mace, he killed Mace, that June. This murder Mace, he coming yeah. back. It ain't no rap. And so, uh, so Touch, what's up? What, I know you was talking about some new music. What's good? Yeah. All right, so it's a lot. It has been a really busy month in hip hop. All right, so I just wanted to give y'all a quick rundown. Mm-hmm. All right, because it's it's a lot. So first of all, I'm gonna just say we was already talking about black business. Okay, so shout mm-hmm. out to Black Business and Title. If y'all, this is where I get my music from. Just so y'all know, <laughs> if you're not on Title and you on Apple Music and all them other platforms and you're not on title and you talking about supporting black business, you ain't doing it. Mm-hmm. So if you're not already, go subscribe to title because it's that shot. We not okay, we so. not endorsing or sponsoring none of them. We're just kind of mentioning some right. of the outlets for music. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, that's where I that's you know, that's where I feel like I get my dope stuff there from. Go, there but everybody go. got their preference. Yeah. So go. first thing is Fab and Jada, all right? They dropped the Friday on Elm Street, okay? It's 12 mm-hmm. tracks, fire. Everybody's been waiting for it, and it's just a dream come true. Best of both worlds, fabulous, Jada Kiss, mm-hmm. loving it, okay? And the dopest song on there, I want you guys, if you haven't already listened to it, is this track with Tiana Taylor, and it's called Talk About It. And a lot of people talk about how hip-hop isn't, like, culturally responsible right now, and it's, like, song... It's really breaking down all the police violence, everything that's going on in the country right now, and like basically let's talk about it. So, shouts out to them for really addressing those issues. Tiana sounds beautiful on the track, so it's definitely a good reason to check out the album, and especially when you got French Montana on there with Beats, Future, Styles P. Okay, so it's 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 a really dope it's a really dope layout. Um, secondly, okay, I'm about to hit you over the head. Shots to Philly, <laughs> Will Smith's son, Jaden Smith. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, that was hot. Oh, it was hot. It was hot. It was hot. Hot. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sire, I think is the way you pronounce it. Dope album, very eclectic, all over the place, but he's spitting. Like, mm-hmm. he's like, yo, don't forget. Like, my daddy is Will Smith, and he know how to rap, and I can rap, too. <laughs> and it's just a really good album, and I'm really proud of them just doing anything in the music game. So, Jaden Smith Sire is hot. So, some of y'all may or may not know who Saha the Prince is, okay? If you don't know who Saha yeah. the Prince is, he's probably I'm one of the. Say, he, he, to the party. he wrote for Yeezy. He wrote for a lot of people. He's dope. Dope, dope. And he's been out doing his thing for a long time. But this album, this album, <laughs> he really is putting his foot in the game and saying, hey, I'm not going nowhere. Um, Jay-Z's putting a stamp on him. Obviously, Kanye's already put the stamp on him. The album is amazing. He just got bars for days. So, if you like Into Spinners, check out the new Saha to Prince, John. That is fire. Mm-hmm. Um, we already talked about the Mason Cam battle, but I'll just say this. Um, it's bittersweet because Cam, like, really, you know, I mean, he, he gets in the battles every now and then. He pops his head up in the music game. Mace, on the other hand, you know, everybody's been waiting for him to come back. But at the same time, it's kind of sad because we all know Mace was a preacher at one time. And so it's like you listen to this rap and you're like, okay, he killed them. Yeah, he was dope. But at the same time, you're like, but this is an ex-pastor. Mm. And so a part of me is like, I support it. But the other part of me is like, you know, how are you going to turn your back on the church just so you can go rap? <laughs> so, okay, you, know, you, you know, it's just... It's, it's, it's a little disheartening. But what I will say is, Jesus wasn't no punk. 
You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And so, <laughs> some stories about Jesus. I take my collar mean? off to serve you. That's he got whipped saying. all on his back and still is carrying that thing. <laughs> apparently, you know, I'm just saying. Jesus wasn't no punk, but I really highly doubt that Jesus was like, yo, F that guy, I'm finna ride out, and was just like crazy with it, you know what I'm saying, I think he defended himself, but like, Nate's like completely, I feel like, abandoned the church, and like, <laughs> straight went back to his old ways, so, yeah man, he might need to uh, go pray again and figure out what his trouble soul is, but that's my music update, a go. lot of good stuff going on, y'all go. make sure y'all check it out. Right. There you go. So that was Madam Touch in the building, man. Shout out to Madam Touch. Appreciate Shout you, Touch. Madam, Madam Touch. Touch. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So before we let you go, brother, you know you got to give us a quick little 16. And after you do that, why don't you let us know how can, before you do that, actually, why don't you let us know how we can all get in contact with you, you hear your music and all that. Oh, let's have my music on Spotify, um, Apple Music. Uh, Spin Brothers, YouTube, everything, man, for real, for real. No, no, no doubt, no doubt. That's what's up. All right. That's what's up. All right, now you gotta give us a sixteen. I'm gonna turn this music down. Acapella on him. Go ahead. Let's see. Keep it clean for me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, whoa! I, you gotta dig in your bag. Thirteen. Just dig in your bag. You dig in your bag. Get the other one. Mm. I said, you were looking at a man. But once a boy abandoned by his whole family, I swear I couldn't stand it. So I changed and being lonely turned to kin. I make sure I get my everything whenever I'm doing anything. Because small efforts lead to hard lessons. Hard lessons leave niggas testing. Hungry, hungry drive niggas to that Smith and Wesson. Mac 11s, 187s, or that binger to that man who they asked to bless him. Or let him fry with that guy who fed you all aggression. But I'll fry with that guy before I answer questions. F- the Lord and everybody else who want a question. Why young niggas hustle hard and why we carry weapons. Cause it's hard, and plus these niggas testing. And the law still don't true if you don't look like Jerry Wesson. Mm. You think they really give a f- about the King's message? I mean, they just waiting for another Rodney King session. And it's hard. This is Ooh. He said, I got Yay. 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 Where he at? He's right there. Yes. Hey. Yes. Hey. Yes. 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 I Shout love out. how he created his own clean version. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. hard to do. Mm-hmm. You know it's mean? like you used to flow in, like, a certain way. No mm-hmm. doubt, no doubt, no doubt. That's, <laughs> love it, uh, love Mr. it, Mr. love it. Mr. Bean in the yes. building, man. Where where you get the name from real quick, Mr. man? Mr. Bean, man, my people's gave me that. They, they uh... They told me I try because I I try to keep it as, as a hundred as I can. You feel me? Keep it a yeah. bean. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Keep it a bean. Keep it a bean. There you go. We yes. say that. That's like our motto here. Keep yeah. it a bean. Mm-hmm. Keep we it don't pull no shots. Bean, yeah. No doubt. Yes. No doubt. Well, thanks for coming to the show. Yeah, you gotta make sure you come back. Yes, mm-hmm. Say where you can find them. Yeah, you said all that. Say it again mm-hmm. so they can hear. It. See. Snapchat, yeah. Instagram, Bean One Hundred, B E A N One H U N N I T, Bean One Hundred. That's what's up. No doubt, yes. no doubt. So make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube, man. Make sure you subscribe, man, so we can make sure we stay in touch and For keep sure. promoting you, man, and all that. So I don't want y'all to go anywhere. We got, we got some more time left, man. This is WPPMLP Philadelphia 106.5 FM. And this is We Talk Weeklies. After the talk with your boy Charles Gregory and the beautiful. Lauren Sizzle. And the beautiful. Sparkle. And we'll be right back after this, y'all. Holla. Oh, we ain't free.